I was cold and I had goosebumps and my body started to shake. People had to grab and hold on to me, otherwise I would have been in more of a trance. When my mind was empty and at peace, the spirit came through the wind. I was possessed, my body became numb, I was conscious but I could not control it. I command you to let him go. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Right now. Come out. In Jesus' mighty name. No weapon formed like yes. That's it. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. Come out. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come out. And come out in Jesus' name. Come out right now. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I bind you right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. 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 In the name of Jesus, I command you to come out and leave him alone. From now on, you have no power in him. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? I command you right now to speak. I bind you right now. What is your name? 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 Why are you in here? 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 You know I'm a man of God. You know that. By the power of God. I want you to leave him right now. I'm commanding you right now. I'm commanding you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. To leave him right now. I command you to speak right now. How did you get in here? How did you get in here? How did you get in here? I command right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You understand? Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. You must come out of that name. I speak the name of Jesus over you right now and by his authority, come out of this man. I'm commanding you to leave. You're not gonna possess this body anymore. Please, I command you wherever you came from to leave. To leave right now. 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 Right now. Right now. Leave right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit right now. In 
Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of our forgiveness and bitterness, I command you to leave right now. I command you to leave right now. In Jesus' name. Come out right now. In Jesus' name. There's no more legal ground. He has renounced this. He has renounced that sin. I command you to come out. Come out right now. I feel better. When I came here, when I came here to get down. Because here I just felt the presence of God. I just needed to get a prayer. A case of demonic possession. Well, my next stop is to meet with a man named Reverend Bob Larson, and he's not just a man of the cloth. He is a real-life, honest-to-God exorcist, and he's invited me to see one of his cases and understand what he does firsthand. Now, I'm an open-minded guy, but when it comes to the subject of exorcism, I'd be lying if I didn't say I've got some preconceived notions, mostly thanks to one very famous movie. But if this is real, the idea that people can be possessed or inhabited by spirits or even a demon, then that's terrifying. And I gotta be honest, I don't have a clue what to expect here. Reverend Larson is one of a select group of clergy that works a very dark beat, exorcism. Dozens of cultures through the ages have performed similar rituals, and they seem to be on the rise. In fact, the demand for exorcisms is so high these days that the Vatican recently invited 250 priests to learn the sacred rites. Reverend Larson and Gabriel explain that their subject, Reuben, is waiting for us upstairs. We take a moment to talk about his case. This is a gentleman that I met some months back. He immediately manifested demonic behavior. What did he manifest? Well, he began to growl. And his hands formed like claws, and his eyes rolled back in his head. And I knew that something pretty dramatic was going on. And, and, and how long have you known him? I've known him for about two years. And this is behavior you've observed? Yes, I've seen it. It comes over him suddenly without warning, and it's, he becomes an entirely different person. It's terrifying. As an outsider to this world, what should I expect? His behavior can be extremely violent. So you guys might have to hang on to it. Are you ready for this? I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. I've arrived at the home of a man who believes himself to be possessed by demons. Now, with renowned exorcist Reverend Bob Larson, I may be about to face off with pure evil. In your head, do you ever hear a name? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. What was the name? Uh, Are you afraid to say it? Um, yeah, a little bit. Okay, what was the name? By forcing the demon to name itself, Reverend Larson claims he can gain control of the evil spirit at the root of Reuben's suffering and drive it from his body. I anoint you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Is your name? Look at me, spirit. Who speaks for you? Murder. Things begin quietly, but soon Reuben's calm demeanor gives way to something or someone else. If you could get your hands on me, what would you do? Twist your neck. Make no mistake, Reuben is not an actor. This is happening. I take the sword of God's spirit and I strike you. Judgment. Ah! 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 Look at me, spirit. Get on your feet, murder. So come on over here. We're gonna get rid of this thing. It's murder. And it's a killing spirit. It is very destructive. will now receive God's judgment. Do you have legal authority remaining? Do you have legal authority remaining? If you have none, you must leave. No! Yes! I watch as Reuben and Reverend Larson struggle. I'm certain that what I'm seeing is real. 
What I don't know is where it's coming from. You must leave. Come out by the power of Christ. Suddenly, Reuben stops his struggle. It's over. You did a great job, Reuben, fighting through this. How do you feel? I feel lighter. I feel light, like relief, like stuff's been lifted, you know? It's gone. Just because we got rid of your demons doesn't make life perfect. You have to ask God where you need to heal. The journey's not over, but you've started the journey now. Thank you, Reverend. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. It took all of us to get this job done. So what happened here? Whatever it was, it scared me. I believe that Reuben was tormented, but was the source of that torment evil spirits or just personal demons? Well, that depends entirely on what you believe. Like this. So to actually uh, witness it and to speak with someone who, who works in this space, uh, it really uh, put it in a different light for me. When we resist the devil with a lively act of faith, Satan would flee before us. A believer is one who believes what it takes to cast out Satan. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go! <laughs> mighty name of Jesus Christ, out! Out! Go! Go! In the mighty name of Jesus, out! Out! In the mighty name of Jesus, out! 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It takes the authority in the name of Jesus to command Satan and direct him where to go. Go! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go! Go! Out! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Hi there, my name is Stella Erasmus. I'm from South Africa. I was demon-possessed. Because of the demon inside of me, it was impossible for me even to walk, walk up to my house, friends and give him a hug and tell him I love him. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. All the things I want to do, I didn't do. And all the things I didn't want to do, I do. But then I come to the synagogue. While I was here, the prophet was walking up and down, praying for people. And um, the demon inside of me grabbed hold of the chair. I wanted to attack prophet T.B. Joshua. But the authority of God in him was so powerful, so mighty. It was it's impossible. He used authority in God. And I was down on the floor, and he delivered me from the demon. And I thank God that he delivered me from that demon. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Over.